about um, curating because I came to these thoughts uh, based on a, I was invited to discuss curating and photography, the connection of curating and photography because I've been doing a little bit of curating recently, but not a whole lot. I'm not a professional curator by any stretch of the imagination. But um, I decided that I was going to, in these notes today, because they're much briefer than the paper at, at large, I will talk primarily about photography. So the curatorial side of this whole thing ha is absent in that, in that regard. Um, OK, so the first thing is that to say that what I'm interested in and the questions that I'm asking in my dissertation research as well as in my art life is uh, what effect do digital networks have on our practices, on our various practices. And in art education, it's what effect do they have on art education. And in terms of my art practice, it's what effect does it have on my insistence to keep teaching photography. And this idea here begins from a couple of different things that I want to kind of spell out in terms of networks. So what is a network? And very, very simply, at its most basic level, a network is a connection. Now, these thoughts are inspired by um, the work of Castells and uh, Gallery and Thacker and Manovic and a lot of different people. But I'm just going to talk as if they're my thoughts, but obviously they're not. So you guys remember that. The, uh, <laughs> the idea is that one of the key things about networks is connection, human connection, real human connection, like on the sidewalk or at the bodega. And occasionally, there's a robot involved. Uh, the other thing about, another um, thing to start with with networks is that the, the shape of these connections are changing drastically and they're really much more in the digital network. We really have to come to grips with the idea of relationalities of networks and the speed up of those relationalities so that we communicate much faster and much more, and much more quickly and much more unpredictably than we do when we're on the street. And you all know what it's like to be talking to somebody and then be interrupted by somebody who comes up. And, that doesn't really bother us in the digital world, but it does bother us in the, in the analog world. So the, uh, so the uh, second thing to keep in mind is the relationality of these connections.